How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Sean Anderson. I'm a first year medical student here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And for a while now, you guys have been asking me to make an Anki video about how I use it. So that's what this is. This isn't so much like a tutorial on how to use Anki from scratch. I'll put some links in the description to those kinds of videos, but this is more like how I use Anki as a first year medical student and kind of like what my day to day is like with Anki. Uh, it's a resource that I love. It is basically a way to beat, you know, the forgetting curve. You get your active recall, space repetition, and you can review all materials which is super important as a medical student since we're going to have to take uh, an exam called STEP. And so this is kind of what Anki looks like. It's a flashcard program. And you're going to see I have two decks, uh, Anking and uh, this Neuroanatomy deck that uh, I'm just using for this block. But this is like my main deck, Anking. It's, it's a pre-made deck, which is a question I get all the time. Do you make your own cards? The answer is no. I use cards that are already made because my school does uh, recycle that like NBME style questions and so it's you know more efficient for me to just use decks that are already made on the exact same material that I'm already using to study like boards and beyond first aid pathoma sketchy rather than having to make my own cards and so you know I go to basically uh, you know the med school uh, Anki subreddit and you guys can go here and you can download any of these decks uh, on King is like the step one gold standard I have a couple friends who use Lightyear. there's some anatomy ones there's uh, ones for OMMs if you're a DO student. You know, in my opinion, it's better not to reinvent the wheel and, you know, time is valuable. So I prefer not to make my own cards. But, you know, if you if you need to make your own cards, uh, definitely go for it. You can definitely do that. And I'll have some links to some good tutorials in the description uh, of this video. But anyway, so let's say that, you know, I watch a new Boards and Beyond video card. I use Boards and Beyond as like a first pass. And so what I'll typically do is I will, you know, watch Boards and Beyond and we're in the neurology section of the step one. Um, and so let's say I watched the glaucoma video. I haven't actually watched it, but let's say I did. I watched all 13 minutes and I'm ready to test what I learned. I'll go to uh, Anki, I'll go to browse. And initially what you're gonna do is you're gonna suspend all the cards um, because you don't want like 30,000 cards just like sitting there waiting for you to do because you haven't learned any of it yet. So all my cards are suspended until I watch the video and you're gonna see all these tags right here. Mine look really nice and organized because I have an add-on called Hierarchical Tags, which I'll show you guys how to get add-ons. Uh, there's a couple I do recommend, um, but the Hierarchical Tags makes your tags look like this. And so it, it's nice and organized. And so if I do this drop down menu, you can see B and B, that's boards and beyond. And you'll see these other tags. Uh, a lot of them overlap on the cards. I typically just unlock the boards and beyond ones. And so I'll go down, I'll go to neurology, which is the section that I was in, go to eye and glaucoma. So it's really organized because, you know, wherever you found that material, whatever resource you used, you can find the exact cards. And these are all tied with glaucoma, which means that these are came from the boards and beyond glaucoma video. And so you see how they're all in yellow. That means that they're not uh, unsuspended. And so um, what I'll do is I'll highlight them all and I'll press toggle suspend. Um, I'm not gonna do that because I haven't actually watched this video, but let's say retina, I've watched that video. These are all white, which means that I've done them. They're rotating in my deck and they're unsuspended. So let's just say, you know, I'm, t it's ready, I'm ready to go do my cards. And so I'm gonna go to on King and I'm gonna click it and you're gonna see I have 53 new cards that are in the deck. I have 102 review and 81 that are learning. So they're a little bit newer cards. And I'm gonna press study now because you know it's time to do some Anki. Uh, as you guys can tell, it's afternoon. I haven't finished my Anki for the day. It's been kind of busy. So if I was gonna keep doing it, I'm gonna go in here and this is what an Anki card looks like. It's basically a flash card. This is a closed deletion. So it wants me to fill in this blank. It says lesions to the frontal eye fields result in eyes that look blank to the side of the lesion. And I don't know, let's say, I, I think the answer is towards the side of the lesion and I'm gonna press show answer. And the answer is towards, and I thought that was fine. Uh, I got it wrong, I think earlier today. And so it's got a, an interval of one day and one day. And so I'm just gonna press good cause I got it. I wanna see it again tomorrow. And that's why it looks like that. Uh, Broca's expressive aphasia is characterized by blank repetition, intact or impaired. Um, let's say, Let's say I say impaired, right? Um, I think that's, yeah, that's the right answer. But let's say that I got it wrong. What I would do is um, I would put it to again and it'll come back in about 10 minutes or less than 10 minutes. Um, but if I thought it was easy, which you can see like these time intervals, seven days for hard, 14 for good, 18 for easy, means I've been getting the card right. And so I, I think it's an easy card. I'm just gonna press good and it'll come back in like two weeks. But if I got it wrong, I would press again and it would come back later today during the session while I'm doing it. So I'm gonna press good. 
And so that's pretty much what it's like. That's what those buttons are. And those settings uh, with the times down there, I don't really mess with too much. You can go here and press options. And um, I think some of the videos uh, and stuff I'll link um, in the description box should kind of tell you a little bit more about this, but I didn't really touch it. The only one I really touched was here steps. So what this is like that repeat. So you saw it, it was 10 minutes because those are like um, cards I've already been doing. So if I get it wrong, I want to see in 10 minutes, but on new cards, I typically like to see it faster just because, you know, you want to get familiar with the card. And so I typically just do three minutes, um, you know, just to see it. But I think you can, you can set it for 10. I know on King, uh, or the YouTube channel, he does like 25 to 30 minutes. That's what this means. This is, um, you know, 1440, which means if I get it right on a new card, it'll come back tomorrow. Um, and same with that. And then this interval is what increases as you get the card right. And again, uh, you know, you can mess with these. I have a load balancer just to kind of decrease the load. It's another add-on. I'll show you guys how to get the add-ons right after this. Um, but besides that, I don't really mess with it. Show new cards in random order. New cards per day capacity is like, you know, 9999. I don't really limit new cards. Sometimes I have, but uh, for the most part, I really don't mess with this stuff too, too much. And so the add-ons I was talking about, you're gonna see things like a heat map. This shows me like how many uh, new cards that I've done today or how many cards I've reviewed today. Uh, yesterday, it shows you your streaks, daily averages. Um, you know, this uh, shows me how many I have to do tomorrow. So it's a good way to gauge kind of like what your, what your workload's gonna be like tomorrow. And so I, I do like this add-on. Another add-on that I have is the Amboss add-on, which this doesn't really show it, so I, that's fine. But you'll see like this card has like uh, some blue underlines. It's because it's linked to Amboss because I have an account with Amboss. So it gives me some definitions on certain words, which is helpful in the, t in the sense that Anki doesn't have a lot of context on its own. So this can kind of help, um, you know, with definitions and stuff. I really like it. And I have a couple other add-ons, like the hierarchical tags I showed you guys. I have this like toolbar right here that, I don't know, I kind of just got it. It helps a little bit. And the way you get add-ons is you basically go to tools and you go to add-ons and here's my list of them that I do have. And to get a new add-on, you'll press get add-ons. It's gonna ask for a code. So you're like, oh, how do you get that code? Well, what you do is you'll go to Google and you'll type in Anki uh, and you'll do add-ons, right? And so, Anki web add ons for Anki. There's tons of them, so many. And you guys could look up videos or go on forums and find out what people recommend. Some people use a bunch of add ons, some people don't use a lot. I use a handful. Uh, it really, I don't know, it depends on you. But let's say you want a certain add on. I already have this one, but let's just click on it. It kind of tells you what it does uh, with the tags. And uh, what you're looking for is this code. Um, and that's what you're going to copy and you're going to paste into here you can press okay it'll you know it'll install the add-on and that's it it's super super easy again there's so many add-ons there's not like right and wrong ones i do recommend like a heat map if you're a med student i recommend the amboss one um but it's more up to you to, to, to decide what kind of add-ons you want and so yeah i typically try to get my anki done first thing of the day it's really hard for me to do later in the day if i you know if i have cards waiting like right now i have to get these done today um i this just this week i started doing them on the treadmill which kind of helps a little bit uh but yeah it's pretty tedious i'm not an anki guru i'm not like an expert at it i just you know i put in my work i wake up every day and i do my cards uh if you are an anki expert or you guys have any tips definitely comment them down below i know a lot of people use anki it's really really helpful it's a great resource uh for learning and you know beating that forgetting curve especially that's like the main reason people use it and so yeah that's pretty much all i got uh, i'll put some links to like some good resources for if you're just learning how to use anki in my description box and if you guys have any specific questions or want me to make a specific video on anything about anki or anything that you guys saw here uh, just let me know um, or if you have any good advice for Anki, I definitely, I always appreciate it. I'm sure some of the people watching this will appreciate it as well. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.